Hi, uh, welcome to part two of the tutorial series on how to, to make a, uh, a temple run type game in Unity. This is going to be a very short one. Somebody asked in, in, in the comments to the last video, how do you add jumps? So let me show you how to do that here quickly. Uh, on Mixmo, um, I've, I've got the character selected that we had with the first video. Um, go to animations, look for a jump animation. I picked this one here. You need to select in place and download. Then download as a Unity uh, FBX file. Um, I've already downloaded this, so um, I won't download it again. And then over on my downloads folder, here are some of the uh, animations I've downloaded including the jump FBX you can see just there. So you copy that over then to your folder uh, for your project and to the player uh, for, under the assets folder. So there is where it is and then it means that inside uh, Unity you should see it showing up then under the player um, jump. There it is. So if I open that up what you need to do then is go to the animator tab here, uh, drag in um, jump. Uh, you could call this something else if you want um, and then you right click make transition to running so that after the jump it goes back to running and then in your scripts open up your player movement script again uh, mine is open over here um, and you need to add a boolean to show if you're jumping or not I call it jump it's initially false uh, and then in the update function, um, I'm linking it to the space key. So if the player presses the space key, it's set to true. And then I have an if. If if it's true, then I play the jump animation um, that we just uh, downloaded. Uh, this variable here, this reference is uh, set in the start method uh, like this. So get component uh, animator. I, I call it my animator. Uh, and that's it. I, I also did something similar here for uh, a roll, so he'll be able to jump over stuff and he can he can uh, slide under stuff. Um, again, that roll animation was downloaded from um, uh, Mixamo. So let's try it out. Save that. Um, I just have the jump set up here, so let's see if it works. When I press the space key. It does indeed. You can see him jumping there. Not very high, but I guess it's, it depends on the animation you pick. Um, to do the roll then, uh, we need to drag in the roll animation, which is... Where is that one? I think I called it the... It was the sprinting forward roll. I just drag it in here. Right click, make transition to run. I call this roll. So I'm re renaming it here to just simply roll. And um, yeah, so that's now in the code linked to the W key. So if I press the W key, he should roll forward because here it goes, if roll, then play the animation for the roll. Uh, let's try that. Indeed, I press the W key and he rolls forward. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. There were some other questions like how, for example, do we change the um, the uh, the distance between the camera and the player. In the camera, we had this uh, script called trail camera, and we had this pr uh, public variable for the for the trail distance. So if we set that to something like 15, then the camera will be uh, a lot further back. You see that. And similarly for the uh, delay, when we go around the corner, you can change the delay here. Uh, the height offset is just how high the camera will be above the player's head and so on. All right, that's it for now. I hope that was helpful. Thanks. Bye.